through the eyes of a traveler. Hello world and welcome to another video presented by me, Traveller Missing in Action. To be honest, I'm not really missing. I'm missing the road and I'm missing travelling, uh, but I guess we're all suffering at the hands of Corona. Anyway, getting back to the video, which is what I'm doing. This is a review, um, a second review, um, of a motorcycle which has tickled my fancy. A Benelli Leoncino 500. Now, many people have mixed feelings for Benelli. Some uh, consider it a Chinese bike, and maybe they're right. But if this is a Chinese bike, it's probably the best of Chinese. And I'm going to prove that in this review. So, this is a trail stroke cafe racer type bike. I will show you the pictures of the bike, but in the meantime, let me share with you what this bike offers and uh, what you can look forward to enjoying when you get this bike. If you fall into the category of those wonderful people who like the look of this bike and are contemplating getting this bike, yes, those people, those very special, kind-hearted, loving, deserving people. <laughs> So this is a funky looking bike. It looks really cool, very stylish, and I would call it a, a roadster stroke cafe racer, and it obviously has trail capabilities. Now, um, to pit this against the Japanese and European uh, competition would be unfair for three reasons. Number one, the Japanese are far more long-standing in terms of quality. Have been around for a lot longer and they have a proven track record number two the europeans and japanese uh, bikes are priced at such a, uh, a uh, an amount where you can't get a second hand good quality japanese european bike at the price that you can buy this brand new and number three the reason i would never pit them against each other is that often with companies like benelli when they offer something, they offer so much more to attract you. So when you look at the add-ons and the bits and bobs and the style and what they do to make this bike look so much different, you realize that really the reason you can't compare is because they're in different categories. Some people love the grunt of an engine. Some people love the look of a bike. And if you're looking for uh, an all-rounder, then I think Benelli is one of those companies that definitely is here to stay because it offers a lot more value for money than anyone, it, literally any other company out there. So this is why I will not compare this with Japanese and European bikes. Now, what is this? So let's talk about the Benelli Leoncino 500. Originally introduced in 2016, but it didn't really come to Britain until the latter part of 2017, early part of 2018. It's a 48 brake horsepower motorcycle that weighs 185 kilograms. It states 170 dry weight, but you can't ride a motorcycle when it's dry. You need mobile oil and you need fuel. So um, I don't know why they share that information. Um, it's beyond me. Right. Continuing on, six-speed gearbox, EFI, uh, liquid cooled, of course, four-stroke parallel twin, um, twin, so it would have eight valves. And uh, other than that, I think we can uh, discount most of the other specs because let's be honest, most riders want to know how it feels like. I mean, I can tell you that the ground clearance is 185 centimeters, seat height is 815 centimeters. You know, it's got a 15 liter tank, which I probably would have told you whilst riding. But the other stuff like the floating discs and, you know, the suspension movement, you can get that from Google. But let's be honest, most people care about that, but not to the extent that most reviewers share that information what you want to know is how does it feel like when it's on the road and that's what i'm going to share next
Now it's time for the meat on the bones. So, number one, if you look at the dictionary for the word nimble, you should find Benelli 500 Leoncino. Right, next, the engine, 500 cc. Well, some would say, isn't that a little small? Actually, this 500 cc, which also sits in the TRK 502X, which is the adventure version of the Benelli, and the 502C, which is the cruiser version, is a fantastic engine. It's not your typical Chinese engine. Guys, what I have to tell you, earlier I said this is the best of Chinese, and I can prove that. The company that owns Benelli makes over 1 million motorcycles a year. 50,000 of those are Benelli, the rest are Chinese motorcycles. Of the 50,000, 5,000 are shipped to Europe. When they're shipped to Europe, they have to go through quality control before they can be sold in any European country. On top of that, the engineering that is within this motorcycle comes mostly from Italy. Like most Japanese bikes like Suzuki and Kawasaki, they're manufactured in China, but the engineering comes from Japan. Likewise, the engineering of the ben Benelli, whatever Benelli you ride, is still coming from Italy. And that's what the Chinese company want because they want to retain that quality that the Benelli name had before they purchased it. And they really use this as a flagship motorcycle to try to enter markets that they can't otherwise. Right, getting back to the bike. Power, lots of. 500cc motorcycle packs a punch. Doesn't feel like 500, more like 6, 650. Okay, aesthetics. It looks absolutely cool. If you don't believe me, go to your nearest Benelli showroom check it out if it doesn't look so good send me a comment I'll, I'll buy you a drink i promise you you will not want that drink because you will concede that this is a very attractive bike what's next in terms of fuel efficiency oh my god wait for it wait for it 100 miles per gallon that's uk gallons now not the american gallons um that's what it's doing so this has a great tank that takes you a great distance what's next Price, brand new, 5,000. Used anything between three and a half to four and a half thousand pounds. Now, when I say used, remember it's only been in the UK market for about two years and overseas markets for maybe around three, possibly four. So that, for a bike that's relatively new, is a great price. Finally, let's talk about the bad points. Right, number one. I found that the cluster meter does fog up. Maybe the seals are weak on this um, and it does get a little bit of mist inside the um, dash, the LCD dash. Number two, the dash could have been colourful. Um, it's just a plain black um, LCD, but it's fine. Uh, number three, the plastics around the handlebar uh, could have been slightly better, but maybe that's just me being finicky and uh, pedantic. But it's not a major issue. And the last point that I would mention is that because Benelli is still new in these markets, it's not as though there are many, many showrooms across many, many countries. So that is the one issue you have, that if you do need to go to a dealer, the dealers are few and far between. And that I think is its major drawback. However, newish bikes, I've been putting this bike through its paces. And to be honest, I don't see this having many problems in the near future. The distant future, possibly. But by that time, I'm pretty sure Benelli would have a stronger foothold in most markets. So folks, that's the review over. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I've tried to be fair and honest. Um, there are uh, some really good points in Spike and I think value for money being the one. I've proven that this isn't the standard Chinese bike, so those that are worried about Chinese quality can be rest assured this doesn't suffer from uh, poor Chinese quality. Yes, bikes have problems, but then you can find those problems in Japanese bikes and European bikes, American bikes and every bike basically. Um, if you ride this sensibly, or, or you ride it like me, uh, not so sensibly, it'll still do well it's still fair well and it'll hold its own anyway folks thank you for watching if you haven't subscribed please do so uh, please like and comment i promise to respond to every comment 
and uh, there's a police car ahead of me so I think the overtaking will have to stop and uh, it's goodbye from me and it's goodbye from him Benelli, anything else you want to add? oh, he's saying thank you, thank you, thank you for watching